The U.S. is tracking this Russian military cargo ship as it makes its way to Syria, carrying weapons, ammunition, and troops. Defense officials tell CNN that U.S. intelligence believes the Russians are sending the ship and a small number of troops to help fortify its naval base as the situation in Syria continues to spiral out of control. We've been concerned about escalating violence and about the lack of a ceasefire and about the potential for civil war. CNN has learned that classified U.S. imagery shows that Nikolai Filchenkov began loading in the port of Sevastopol on the Black Sea on June 7th and is headed for the Syrian port of Tartus, where the Russians have a naval facility. The port is vital for Russian naval access to the entire Middle East. U.S. officials say under maritime rules, Russia should declare what the ship is carrying when it enters the Mediterranean. It's not yet known how many troops are on board and whether they are merely helping transport the weapons or will in fact stay in Syria. For now, the U.S. believes the Russians just want to defend their facilities. But it's not clear how much of a threat the Russians really are facing from opposition attacks. The area has not seen a lot of fighting. U.S. officials are worried there could be other plans for the troops and the military gear. It comes as U.S. and U.N. officials continue to worry the violence will break into all-out civil war. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff told CNN Thursday the suicide bombing that damaged a Shiite mosque in Damascus is a dangerous escalation. Which, of course, gives us all pause that have been in Iraq and seen how these issues become sectarian and then they become uh, civil wars and then they become very difficult to resolve. NBC News was the first to report that Russian ship was on its way to Syria. We've learned that inside the administration now there are extended discussions about this sectarian violence that has broken out and whether this is all headed to become a much more tragic and violent situation than we even saw in Iraq. Wolf. Barbara, thank you. Uh